I'm happy to share with you one of my most favorite DIY projects, which is a silent key fob system. It starts out with this leather key fob, which uses a design that has been repeated often out there in the DIY and sort of EDC communities. Very nice design, which uses kind of a Chicago screw style post. And then the keys uh, rotate on that post. Um, I made this out of an old like leather cuff that I never wore and at the same time the leather was pretty good. But what I really like about this is that it's a very silent system. And when folded, you know, it's, it's much more comfortable in the hand as well as in a pocket. Oftentimes this design is um, made out of some kind of metal, aluminum often, and that still doesn't feel great in, in a pocket, whereas like, just like it's a little more plasticized with the leather feeling, it's just like better in hand, better in a pocket. And one of the side benefits is that, you know, when you pull out your key, you, you've got this extra torque by having this whole thing as a unit. Even this little screw sticking out just kind of makes opening a door somewhat more ergonomic. But the thing that's kind of special about this is that it uses this, uh, I think it's three millimeter utility cord. Got this at REI. And then it's got this Cobra weave onto a carabiner. And the thing that's cool about it is that it causes there to be like tension, just a slight amount of tension on the ring. So rather than being really floppy as most key rings are, there's just like a slight amount of resistance at either end. There's this grab that the rope has and it just, it makes it kind of enjoyable to manipulate. Where I work, every time you leave a room, the room has to be closed just because of a lot of traffic and you know, you don't want someone to wander off with your personal effects. I, I open doors 50 times a day. This quick release action, like if I wear this on my belt, just like having that not flop around and to be able to just open something quickly, like it's just, it's silent, lightweight, provides like a visual of where my keys are. I usually use this one actually, it's like slightly a slightly larger ring. So it just it sort of fits up into this area a little bit better, a little brighter, a little easier to see. So that's on there right now and it's, like there's no flap in it whatsoever. And at the same time, it is malleable. So let's take this off. Now there is like the Achilles heel of this design is that the rotational force of it being on that paracord can cause this to fail. So like some Loctite or some other method of keeping this from undoing itself would solve that problem. You'd see how this goes in here like so. And then I've actually, you know, put, used a, a hot knife to put my name in there. I've had to just slightly file this type of key. The larger work keys go on there, no problem. And then I've just put some scrap leather as kind of a tensioner. And then put the smaller keys near the center, this larger surface area key at the outside. And my bike key, which is really nice because that, that wide flat plastic provides this excellent base to kind of compress the leather like so and there's with the uh, orange paracord on there 
technically, I think it's a three millimeter utility cord. I got this at REI. It comes in, I think, 50 foot lengths for, I think, $12. And it's a really nice textured utility cord, whereas the paracord can be sort of softer. This has, a, a, I think, a better firmness. This length is essentially when I snap it on my one of my belt loops. This length allows me to snake the, the, the key fob part into my front or back pocket so it's not jangling around. And just like the action of this carabiner is really nice because you just, you can feel that it's there. The, the action of this spring is really specific. And because, you know, I cycle to work and stuff, it's nice to just like be able to know that that's clipped on, wh whether it's like your, your belt loop or some, some webbing on my backpack. And then this post and screw I got at a hardware store and the original screw kind of wore out. And so this is a new one. And what I would probably do to improve on this design would be to put some kind of lock tight thread lock something on that post just to be like absolutely sure it was not going to come undone because like the pendulum action can work the screw backwards over time and you feel it get looser so it's like not a big deal but um, if it did fail it would just like bling, catastrophically like spill your keys all over the place so you know every design has its Achilles heel and that's what this one's is. So yeah, this is one of my favorite DIY maker projects and something I use every day.